Hi, it's Adrian today, and yes, I am doing a haul, but instead of going ahead and doing a haul uh, from the Sephora VIB sale, I actually ended up doing the haul from Ulta, and um, I ended up playing with some makeup and some fun stuff that I don't do very often, and I kind of gotten out of the habit of doing. So I did play with the self-tanning tinted mousse and the lotion uh, from Ulta. This is the light to medium one. And took it right up to here and then uh, figured out that I didn't have any foundation that was dark enough to go over that. So I ended up uh, doing a little bit on my face. And um, so hoping that I kind of match until it fades and it should fade in about a week or two. Um, but as far as what I ended up using, uh, the Morphe 2, <clears throat> and uh, as far as foundation, this is a hint of cream. So that's the color on this one. And then this, uh, the Camo Flaunt uh, from Wet n Wild. And this is all stuff that I had that I used on my face today. And I used the glitter and I put it on my eyes and everything. And um, and if you do that, you might want to put it on the upper, the highbrow, because uh, you don't want it getting into your eyes. It can cause a um, infection. Um, and then as far as the lips, I have a combination uh, Big Time by ColourPop. I have this one by Maybelline on. And I also have a gloss by, yeah, it is the Ultra Glossy Lip by ColourPop. So I have all three of these on. Right there, like that. And then I have the Sky High mascara as well. And then to get into the actual haul, yes, the, um, the uh, soft tanning was part of the haul, and I got the mousse and the, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I went ahead and got the mousse and the lotion, and they're actually in a really good sale right now. And then as far as the rest of the haul, um, I went ahead and got the CoverGirl, the Clean Fresh, and I got two colors, uh, let's see, Ripe and Ready and Innocence, and these two um, are right here as far as my swatches and as far as those go um, I did hear Emily Noel say that they could maybe be used for dupes as far as Charlotte Tilbury uh, their Glowgasm in pink um, but I have never tried the Glowgasm so I don't know if these can actually be dupes or not but that was part of my haul and then I, of course, got some staples like the Essence Volume Stylist, um, the 18-hour wear. Uh, found some other things. These were actually the Neon from Wet n Wild, and they were in the same area that the new SpongeBob palette is in. And that release that Wet n Wild did. Um, but these are the Neons, and uh, this one, yeah, they started this last year. And then they, um, and then they sold out, and we thought they were all gone, and they showed up with the SpongeBob palettes. So I'm assuming that they have some more. And so I got these over at Walmart. I guess I have a really varied haul, if you want to know. Also from Walmart, um, yeah, I did get this. What's on my eyes today? Um, from Alta, <laughs> finally. Um, I went ahead and got one of the Nabla Skin Glazing, and uh, this one is actually all over my face. I went ahead and used it um, as a face powder, and this one's called Privilege. And then as far as, um, this one is actually from the Flower Beauty website, and this one is called Heat Wave, and it's bronzer. And I actually have all of these on the back of my hand. So I have Nabla, the bronzer, and then uh, this Revolution Glow. It's, yeah, no fingerprints because it all looks like a coaster, but it doesn't give fingerprints. I love that part. So, um, so I picked this up from Ulta too. So 
uh, these two are Alta and then this one is off of the Flower Beauty site and as far as the swatches on those they're going to be right here so um, let's see uh, so this one right here is the bronzer and then uh, let's see this one is going to be the Nabla and then the one over hold on we got ah, bronzer Nabla and then bronzer Nabla and then that one is uh, going to be the one from Revolution and the Revolution I got this so glazed so the yeah this comes in a variety it's a highlighter and it comes in a variety of different colors as far as um, the two this is the wet and wild um, that's swatches of that and um, then the other wet and wild there and um, these have uh, two regular shadows in them and then two glitters so the glitters don't necessarily come out that well but the you have a regular shadow and um, <clears throat> let's see um, a sparkly one and then you actually have two of the glitters so uh, this is what I had swatched for that and then this um, up at the top is another one of the flower ones that I have on ah! and I have that on its cheek um, blush and this is the flower blush balm and pinched which is really popular color and so, um, yeah, I have a couple of different hauls in here, don't I? So I got these two off the flower website. And let's see, the other things that I got off the flower website, I had actually gotten this peach one earlier, um, but I got the rosé, or, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, these are pyramids, uh, they're blushes, and again, they're really um, metallic and um, also these ones the uh, clean and fresh uh, blush from covergirl is these two right here and again very metallic again i haven't tried them as dupes for charlotte tilbury but i've heard that you can do that so that's all good um hmm. oh and i got the max studio radiance um since <laughs> I have the fake tanning. Let me get that. Hold on. Okay. So, so I did the fake tanning up to about here, and then realized that I didn't have any foundation deep enough um, to match. So I went ahead and did some of this on the face, and now, you know, I got Max Studio, um, the Studio Radiance Face and Body way too light. I can't wear it. I can't wear any of my foundations right now. And if you really want to look, I mean, it doesn't really match either. Um, but it'll take about a week, right, to just start fading or fade. So anyway, that was my haul um, during this 4 of BIB. And uh, so I did get some things, but I... Uh, got them from all sorts of different places instead of Sephora. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's my haul. And that's my pretty funny situation. And um, it'll be better in a week. And so, <laughs> um, thank you and have a good day, okay? Bye.